there's a lot of noise if you some peace of mind take steps towards that in this video i wanted to touch upon the topic of planning your life after your high school um, you know deciding where you want to take um, your career what you want to do after school so my previous video it was in Finnish um, because I was explaining about the army and like the whole process and you know giving some tips on how you could prepare etc there are so many other options that one can go into um, after graduating high school and so in this video I wanted to talk about those things because I know that and I've been there um, when you graduate high school there are certain things that maybe the people around you are talking about uh, your parents or your like friends or even just like there's a lot of noise in the exterior and you might feel like you're not you're not able to hear your own voice I want to talk about those options that you may have and give you some peace of mind that you don't have to know exactly what you want to be doing um, in 10 years time um, but the most important thing is that you start listening to your own voice and take steps towards that so my story is that I went to high school and I did my high school in English I studied IB IB pretty much prepares you for university um, for continuing your studies but it also IB also prepares you in many other ways it gives you life skills, time management skills, stress management skills, <laughs> IB students, you know what it is like to go through IB. But so still I think that if there's a misconception that um, if you study IB you will go directly into university, but that's not the case at all. Also like in my case, for example, although I did know that I wanted to continue on to university, I knew that before that I wanted to do something else for myself um, to get to know myself and it was just something I wanted to do and so for me it was going into the military service and I have a whole video in Finnish though explaining like those reasons why I wanted to do that but uh, even outside of that you have many options and so for example um, one option is for you to travel. Traveling, it really does broaden your horizons. It teaches you many things. You can meet amazing people. You can learn about new cultures. And in the process, you might figure out what you want to do, uh, your career. You might figure out something that you're passionate about. And so that's one option. Related to traveling or doing something that might bring you meaning is for example, doing some charity work or uh, going into a non-profit organization, working for them. I read recently a book where they explain how people find meaning when they do charity work and how it can be very fulfilling and it can feel very meaningful. So actually for someone that might feel a bit lost and anxious maybe about taking a big decision uh, like related to your life and the next steps you need to take in your life then this could be a good option for you because you f you will find a way to connect with people and give something back and that might actually in return give you meaning and um, maybe an idea of what you want to pursue then there are of course uh, many people including myself that go uh, and work right after graduating from school, either for financial reasons or to gain work experience. Actually working after uh, graduating high school can be wise because not only does it teach you um, good life skills, but also mm, you can save up for something you want to do or for your uh, university studies. Because when you go into studying, um, you will be definitely living on a low budget so um, it can be wise to save up for that and so these are just some options that you can consider when deciding what you want to do after graduation um, but you might also take on your own talent for example i remember from the class that i graduated with there was uh, one girl that went to went on to pursue a career in music and actually 
I still have a connection with her through social media and it's been really interesting to see how she has been pursuing that and she seems very happy with that and she's been doing really well so really don't be scared to pursue what your heart tells you um, I think it is such a key moment in your life when you like you're done with school you can basically do anything you can continue studying or you can also just work or travel or find something else um, but so really like tune into what you want to do and um, take time off people take even up to five years off uh, five years of gap years gap years but of course th like during that time they're doing something that will help them figure out what they want to do. And I think it's key to remember that because personally, I would rather take a five years of gap years and really, uh, and, and during those five years, realize what exactly I want to do and find my passion rather than rushing into a degree and coming out of it like, this is not what I wanted to do. I actually want to do something else and then starting the whole process again. That might even take you longer. And so there really is no rush. So that's why think carefully. And if you don't know what, what, your, what the decision should be, if you don't know which decision to take, how about you don't make a decision? Take time for yourself to figure that out. And um, yeah, my final tip is that be fearless. Uh, follow your dreams fearlessly because at some point you're gonna realize that if you don't go after your dreams no one will and time goes by and someday it's gonna be 2040 and you're gonna be like damn 